China's private space industry just achieved a game-changing milestone. Landspace successfully conducted a 10-kilometer vertical takeoff and landing test VTVL for its Zuc-3 reusable rocket. But this was no ordinary launch. It marked the first time a Chinese rocket reignited its engine during descent, showcasing a critical step toward creating fully reusable rockets. Why does this matter? Because reusable rockets drastically cut down launch costs and allow for more frequent missions, pushing us closer to making space accessible. In this video, we'll explore what happened during this groundbreaking test, why it's so important for the space industry, and what it means for the future of space travel. Landspace's 10-kilometer vertical takeoff and vertical landing VTVL test on September 11th, 2024, wasn't just a routine rocket launch, it was a technical marvel that showcased several groundbreaking innovations. This test involved the Zhuk-3 VTVL-1 test rocket, which reached an altitude of 10,002 meters during a 200.7 second flight. After the engine cut off at 113 seconds into the flight, the rocket glided for around 40 seconds. Then, at 4.64 kilometers above ground, the rocket's engine reignited, a first for China. It made a controlled vertical landing just 1.7 meters from the center of the landing pad, located 3.2 kilometers from the launch site. This successful in-flight engine restart represents a key breakthrough in China's journey toward reusable space technology. The test featured the addition of a four-piece grid fin system, which significantly improved the rocket's stability and control during its descent, ensuring precision landing a feature critical for future reusable rocket missions. These grid fins, positioned near the rocket's top, played a crucial role in maintaining aerodynamic control during re-entry and landing, a technology similar to what companies like SpaceX have employed with their reusable rockets. Landspace's test in September followed an earlier VTVL attempt in January 2024, which saw the rocket reach just 350 meters in altitude. However, this recent test at 10 kilometers signifies a massive leap in their technological capabilities, demonstrating the rapid advancements they are making toward perfecting reusable rocket systems. These milestones are essential stepping stones in Landspace's broader ambition to compete in the global market for reusable launch vehicles. Fuel efficiency was also a major focus of the test. The Zhuq-3 rocket was powered by methane liquid oxygen methylox, a cleaner burning and cost-effective fuel that's particularly well-suited for reusable missions. Methylox has become the fuel of choice for modern reusable rockets due to its higher efficiency and lower environmental impact compared to traditional fuels. The use of this fuel positions Landspace's rockets as both environmentally friendly and economically sustainable, adding even greater significance to the success of this groundbreaking test. Reusable rockets are not just the future of space travel, they are a revolution in how we think about space exploration. In the past, most rockets were used once and then discarded. This made space launches expensive and infrequent, limiting our access to space. Reusable rockets, like those developed by Landspace and other private companies, change that by allowing multiple launches from the same vehicle, dramatically cutting costs by up to 80 to 90 percent. This is a crucial development because it makes space exploration, satellite deployment, and even space tourism more accessible. Landspace's Zuc-3 rocket aims to be a key player in this revolution. The rocket's first stage is designed to be used for a minimum of 20 flights, which will lower operational costs significantly. This reduction in costs will also allow for higher launch frequencies, enabling more ambitious projects like satellite megaconstellations, planetary exploration, and potentially space colonization. When reusable rockets become mainstream, we could see the birth of a space economy, where frequent, affordable launches are the norm. In fact, Landspace has set the stage for even more competitive advancements with its commitment to cutting-edge technology. The Zhuk-3 rocket isn't just about affordability, it's also built for durability and efficiency, both of which are critical for scaling up missions that require multiple launches in quick succession. This capability is essential for meeting the growing demand for satellite constellations, such as those China plans to launch under projects like Guang which aim to create a global network of satellites to provide widespread internet coverage. 
The successful 10-kilometer VTVL test is a giant step toward that future. Landspace's use of grid fins and advanced control systems during descent, coupled with the Methalox fuel efficiency, demonstrates their commitment to developing a sustainable, reusable launch system. These advancements put them in the same league as global players like SpaceX, which has been pioneering reusable rockets for years and underscores China's rapidly growing capabilities in the private space sector. Additionally, this success is key for China's broader ambitions to dominate the global space race, both commercially and scientifically. Following the success of this test, what's next for Landspace? Their immediate goal is the first orbital launch of the Zhuqi-3 rocket, slated for 2025. This upcoming test will be a critical milestone for the company, putting their technology to the ultimate challenge in reaching low Earth orbit. The Zhuk-3 is a two-stage rocket, 76.6 meters in length, and powered by nine Tiang-12B engines. At liftoff, the rocket weighs an impressive 660 tons and is capable of carrying payloads of up to 21,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit LEO in an expendable configuration. However, even with a reusable first stage, the rocket retains a strong payload capacity 18,300 kilograms if the first stage is recovered downrange and 12,500 kilograms if it returns to the launch site. This high payload capacity positions Landspace as a significant player in the rapidly growing satellite launch market. Reusable rockets like the Zhuk-3 are not just important for reducing costs, but they are essential for meeting the increasing demand for satellite deployment. China's space program has ambitious goals, including the development of mega-constellations like Guawang, which will offer global internet coverage. Reusable rockets will be vital for launching these vast constellations efficiently and cost-effectively, and Landspace's Zhuk-3 is set to play a key role in that mission. By 2026, Landspace aims to have fully reusable rockets in regular operation, potentially slashing launch costs by as much as 90%. This reduction in cost will pave the way for more frequent launches, accelerated technological deployment, and the commercialization of space on an unprecedented scale. Additionally, these advancements will enhance China's broader space ambitions, from expanding satellite constellations to potentially facilitating manned missions beyond Earth. The success of the 10-kilometer test demonstrates land space's ability to push technological boundaries and contribute to China's leadership in the global space race while also laying the groundwork for future innovation in space travel and exploration. In this video, we have learned about Landspace's groundbreaking 10-kilometer vertical takeoff and landing test for its Zhuk-3 rocket. This marks a significant step toward making reusable rockets a reality, cutting costs, and enabling more frequent space missions. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.